So Grandma Yola used to sit in between the bars here. Grandma Yola Banker, Grandma Yola Martinet, Martina. Um, she sat kind of in between those bars on a recliner chair that looked like that with a lot of padding put on top of it to make it more cushiony and, um, you know, waterproof in case uh, she had a little accident. And so we had all these bars put in, um, all these pipes. It looks strange now because there's no pipes connecting them. She used them to walk, uh, like to have as rails to walk with, you know, to hold her hands on um, so that she would have support while walking. Um, these were just the support pipes that would hold the bars that she would walk with, you know, she would hold on to the bars or the rails. So yeah, she sat kind of over there between all three of those um, pipe connector things um, in front of that last one there with the little pink thing on it. She wasn't quite back that far. That was a tiny bit behind her. And then um, from here where she was sitting, um, I guess there was a pipe kind of like this way so she could use it to stand up with and then I'd remove that and then there'd be a pipe connecting these two here uh, a rail so she could hold on to it and we would go this way I'm sorry we would go straight ahead <laughs> going forward go, going st straight ahead there'd be pipes connecting um, right here with that one over there and then another one connecting that one over there with the far one. So um, there'd also be one here uh, connecting these two. So she could just, once she stood up with the help of that one bar and my help of course, uh, she would walk straight ahead. Uh, and of course these things weren't here then. Uh, she'd walk straight ahead, um, and then there was this pipe thing here to give support. You can see on the carpet there was um, holes in the carpet where the other support bars, uh, pedestal things like this one, another one like this one, were over there, wherever those little support, uh, wherever those little holes were in the carpet. So there's the wall, and she'd also have a bar rail along the wall. So left hand would be on the bar rail that was attached to the wall, and right hand would be on the bar rail that was um, supported by the pedestals over here. And she would walk along the wall towards the bathroom. And on the wall, I put um, lots of photos of her and me and the family throughout time on the wall. I've since moved them, but they were a little bit lower so because she was short. So uh, as she was walking, she could pause for a second and, and rest and, you know, just look to the side and see some uh, fun old photos. You can see the carpet still messed up because of the uh, support bar pedestals that were here. So she'd walk down this hallway. That photo, that picture there, um, her mom, Ida, bought uh, because it reminded her of where she grew up in Pinarolo and San Secondo area. And then there'd be a um, kind of a bar at an angle here. Uh, you can see even on the wall it says where the little, because the other bars went in and out. They didn't always stay in. I could take them out. So, for example, we'd take the wheelchair down here and I would let her off here so she wouldn't have to walk quite as far um, uh, if we came in from an outing. And there was bars, rails to hold on to on both sides of the uh, hallway here. 
and we had connecting bars that would go across the um, across the doorway that was open here. You can see more photos on the wall that she would look at. These are the photos that she would look at. There was a lot of me because I knew she enjoyed <laughs> looking at pictures of me. And let's see, there'd be another bar that was uh, at an angle here. I guess I took that little signpost off, but uh, it would connect here and then it would go into the bathroom and we had bars in the bathroom as well. They're, they're really all gone, but uh, you, this one's still here. You can see the post things where we had to drill into the shower to put support for a bar. So then she would come back and, you know, all these bars would be removable. <clears throat> I could take them out if I needed to go into my room or something. And uh, this was Grandma Yola's bedroom. Um, I slept there with her sometimes to wake her up if she stopped breathing. So here again, you see the, um, which bars were there right here and then she just walked back there's the the wall she goes straight over here by the photos by the wall and then to go back we had a different way she would kind of veer to the the left right right in here um, she would veer to the left and then go this way around and approach her chair from the side uh, and then hold on to a bar that was here so she could land in her chair better. Uh, she couldn't approach it if she was walking straight into it, so <laughs> she had to approach the chair from the side and then sit down. <laughs> 